Hey guys, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle, taking a look at a really nice looking uh, 2007 Acura MDX we've just taken in on trade here at Infinity of Kirkland. Now this 67,000 mile local trade is in absolutely extraordinary condition and it is loaded navigation, DVD, pretty much everything you can put into an MDX, this one has. Taking a look at the front, now a lot of times these uh, all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicles uh, go up and down the pass quite a lot, uh, very popular with ski families. And so you'll see tons and tons of rock ships all along the front, but not the case at all in this particular MDX. Everything looks all nice and original. The wheels, the uh, tires are all perfect. In fact, the tires look like they're brand new. They still have their porcupine quills there. The uh, Boy, I don't know who's washing our wheels these days, but they're missing some of the easy stuff. Side rails right here, so uh, it makes it easy to get in and get out and they can definitely withstand 200 pounds jumping up and down on them. One of the great things about the MDX is that there's just so much room inside the MDX. It's one of the most comfortable sport utilities sold in the United States, regardless if it's a 2007 or if it's a 2014. They just have a great driver's oriented, comfortable personality inside with all kinds of space. If I take a look in the second row, even though I've got the seat still in that way far back position, at six feet tall in the second row, again, I have all kinds of comfort back here. My knees, I really have to reach out even to touch the seat ahead of me. And then uh, heated seats in the back as well. And then uh, my own digital climate control. This particular car also has drop down DVD and then all my controls are right up here. And then my headphone controls, my extra jacks and what have you are in the rear part of the center console. Tires are great in the back, so looks like the tires are new all the way around. One rare feature on this, above and beyond the rear camera right here, is that this one does have the factory tow receiver, and although it doesn't look like it's ever been used, nope, looks completely new. The, uh, it's still, it's a great feature. You don't see them all that often with the factory uh, trailer tow. This is just how this one was built. And so the big difference between a factory trailer tow receiver and say an aftermarket one, a lot of people like to get at the local U-Haul or Mans Welding here in the uh, east side area, is that the uh, most aftermarket ones only have four connection points because they're kind of made in a one size fits all kind of a horseshoe type of shape. And so they just screw it in where they can where typically uh, the factory ones can be held anywhere from like 10 to 15 or 16 different locations because it's kind of built in that curly Q manner that goes around all the nuts and bolts and idiosyncrasies of the underside of the car. And so it makes it much more durable. And if you're actually towing heavy loads with it, you definitely want to go with the factory option. It's roughly $300 or something to add an aftermarket tow receiver. It's a thousand dollars and more to get it done at the factory. It's worth it. Get the factory one. And so this one has the carpeted floor mats as well as the uh, all weather floor mats. And then it looks like it's got its little uh, tonneau cover back there. Christmas season, you can uh, keep your gifts underneath there. Pull that uh, that uh, blanket over, and uh, nobody can see what you got in the back. Passenger side, everything looks quite nice. Seats look great. The leather's really nice and soft still. This is a six-year-old car, and yes, it's got miles in the 60s, so it has low miles, but the, uh, the leather, sometimes the personality of these can be a little bit dry. These are very popular with families, of course, like most sport utilities are, so they tend to take a lot more wear than conventional cars do. And so you'll see the goldfish crackers all ground into the leather. Uh, you'll see just a lot of cleat marks throughout, you know, from soccer and all that sort of thing. And so, or just a lot of spilled this is and that's, or rough housing, or dogs, or there's a million things that can go wrong in the interior of a car. This does not have any of those things going on. This looks uh, much younger than even its low miles would indicate. But if you'd like more information about this particular car, maybe you'd like to see some service records, or you'd like me to fax what we know, or different photographs over to you, the, uh, please put us to work. Let us know here at Infinity of Kirkland. Again, my name is Joe Tunney. You can call me anytime, 425-821-1600, or just drop me an email anytime at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.